Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question. What are the different ways to run your SSIS package on a schedule? So the very first and very common way to schedule your packages is a SQL Server Agent. So uh, SQL Server Agent is a Windows service that can execute uh, uh, different tasks. So we use a SQL Server Agent uh, uh, um, service uh, to create the job and inside the job we can uh, run single package or we can uh, run uh, multiple packages uh, and uh, we can create a schedule on which uh, we want to run those uh, packages. That's a uh, very common and uh, wherever I had been working on different companies, uh, that's the very first uh, scheduler they use uh, to schedule the SSIS packages and run them. The next uh, can be a third party scheduler. There, there are companies that they are using um, third party scheduler and uh, th that's one way to do it. So to run the SSIS packages on third party, party scheduler, what they do, they create batch files. So we use dt executable and uh, we, we write that uh, package path and provide all the parameters and uh, create that uh, batch file and then we pass that batch file to the third party scheduler and uh, that's how we can run the SSIS package from third party scheduler. Uh, one other way we, you can create uh, the same batch file and you can use Windows scheduler and uh, you, you can initiate uh, or uh, once you run the batch file uh, it will um, uh, kick in the uh, SSIS package by using the DT exec dot executable. Uh, but the first one uh, by using SQL Server Agent job that's very common. The second one is uh, I have seen that uh, in different companies the uh, people use third-party schedulers uh, and uh, they have the uh, created the batch files uh, and uh, those uh, can run the um, SSIS package uh, by calling with the DT exec uh, uh, dot executable and uh, the Windows scheduler I have seen um, uh, I haven't seen really uh, you know people doing it uh, and uh, using Windows scheduler to run the SSIS package but this is one way you can run the package thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you in the next video